Uh, greetings, Gotham. A uh, Joker here. Please enjoy Nightwing's full walkthrough of Batman Arkham Origins. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Got it? Great. <laughs> well, enjoy the show. Oh, and remember, dying is easy. Comedy is hard. <laughs> Hey, what's happening, gamers? Welcome back to Batman Arkham Origins, and the December hey. DLC is here, and it is the Rite of Passage, or also known as the uh, Initiation DLC, that was due in December and Ooh. features Bruce Wayne's final test uh, before meeting the Master, and uh, I can never say the guy's name right, it's either Kagiri or Krigri or whatever. Curious George, doesn't matter. Call him um, George. He is a uh, really cool martial artist guy that trained uh, Bruce Wayne in his final days and taught him patience and to quell his rage and things like that. And in this game, they have him take place in North Korea in the Bronze Age. Um, the character, I believe, was in the mountains of Nepal. Something like that. I, I don't really remember. Togakuro Today, Ryu or an something. Today, outsider takes our test of honor to see if he is worthy of our training. Out of pity, we let him eat with us, drink with us, train with us. And now we shall see if he is truly one of us. Begin. Bruce needs a shave. Uh, I'm actually using a different skin because I didn't really like the bearded wonder. So. Aww. Are you ready for us? And I think he looked really good there. <laughs> From he looked almost like Superman. Ow. From what I've played so far, um, Batman kind of moves like Nightwing, or excuse me, Brucey. He's very fast, and uh, you know if you like that kind of stuff. But um, I'm noticing that I don't have the ability to use a lot of my really cool gadgets other than the grapple gun. Um, mm -hmm. Which, you know, I suppose makes sense because, you know, Batman wouldn't have, like, the electric gauntlets and things so like that. So, he is Bruce, he's... But he is not. <laughs> he's a char an added character that can't use the same moves. Interesting. He, well, he's a third DLC character, so yeah. Think Like Slade was the second challenge map guy. Okay. Now we have Ninja Bruce Wayne as the third DLC, yeah. which they should have had the Joker or Robin, personally. But Yeah, you were telling me that. They could have added somebody else, but instead it's Bruce Wayne again. But, yeah, I mean, it's kind of interesting, though, you know? Well, I mean, Batman's suit would definitely weigh down Bruce, so I guess this is what he's like in his ninja attire. I don't know. Yeah, without all the weight of his suit and his cape. Yeah. I, I would say his speed is going to take some getting used to, though, so um, probably learn the moves as best you can at the start with him. I'm not really seeing anything that I like with this character just yet. I mean, mm -hmm. that's basically Robin's zip kick and Nightwing's zip kick. He still has all the takedown moves, you know. So, yeah. I just like this Batman Begins ish kind of uh, vigilante costume. It's kind of cool. But um, awesome. I have uh, emailed Warner Brothers, and uh, unfortunately, I heard back that um, the initiation character, like Slade, is not available in free roam. So, those of you thinking that you can take bearded Bruce Wayne and hit the mean streets of Gotham, nope. He's just a challenge map only. Aww. But you can use him in all the challenge maps. That would have been cool if you could free roam with uh, Ninja Batman. And the bearded ninja. And the beard guy, yeah. Ow. Yes, mask optional. Mask optional, yes. Beard optional. <laughs> beard. Okay, these guys are getting my So, ears. you were telling me, where is, where is he uh, trading right now? He's in... He's in North Korea oh, in this. Oh, okay. Alright. Which, it would have been cool to see Bruce, like... I don't know, in the Batman Begins movie, I'm pretty sure that they have him in Nepal, or they have him um, maybe right on the border of Nar North Korea or in the Him Himalayas or something. They don't really... Yeah. I don't remember. Um, I'm, I'm very bad with geography, so... I know he was on a mountain somewhere. Well, this, yeah. the snowy mountains of <laughs> Nepal is, is usually oh, okay. a big, it's big thing Nepal. in the Batman universe. 
So is the is so then North Korea training in North Korea with like a ninja his ninja people is that in the Batman universe as well or mm, kind of although kind of. what they're doing here is they're taking a lot of liberties. Um, the only time Batman really trained with a bunch of ninjas that I mean well only one of them became a ninja Kyodai Ken. In the animated series, mm -hmm. uh, of course, Christopher Nolan does the whole League of Shadows thing. So, oh, that was cool. Basically, what I did there, people, um, you know your plastic explosive thing? I just hit, like, the top button and Y, and I was able to do that ninja shuriken thing, but it really didn't do anything. Oh, yeah. well. But, yeah. Uh, Kyodai Ken became a ninja later. But um, there was a master like character that trained Bruce, but it wasn't this guy. This guy is supposed to be the best, but oh, okay. I'm pretty sure he ends up getting killed by the League of Shadows. Although, what it looks like in this, it looks like you're fighting the League of Shadows or the League of Assassins. Yeah, I couldn't tell. I'm glad you explained it, though, because I couldn't tell at first if he was part of the League of Shadows or what. I didn't understand what was going on. Well, I haven't heard him. What is going on with that guy? Whoa. He's like having some kind of like dance ice skate this is not seizure a dance. thing. Uh, <laughs> oof, I just barely made that. Yay, good job, Kiwi. Well, I guess since I got all three medals, I should try to master this campaign. Movie time. Morina is full of surprises, but fighting alone does not make him worthy. To train with us, you must be able to use the environment and strike. Without being seen. If you see him, shoot him. And if you shoot him, shoot to kill. Bruce's eyes look so what? sad. Like, yeah. they don't want to be my friend. But I don't understand how he could make this the initiation. It's like all of his ninjas go against one new guy. Mm, well, no, he's trying to become his disciples. In the Bronze Age. Oh. Okay. Especially, um, like the stuff with, uh, Danny O'Neill, Danny O'Neill and some other people. Mm -hmm. Bruce, like, they drew him, like, uh, shirtless and with a beard and he was always meditating. And that same look they did incorporate into the animated series. And they did do the bearded Bruce Wayne in Christopher Nolan's series. Hmm. So, yeah. There you go. Um, but he was always just kind of sitting there meditating. He never really fought like an army of ninjas. Now, uh... That's the way now he's 20%... Uh, yeah, no, never mind. No. He's awesome now. Both Katana <laughs> and uh, Lady Shiva have trained with or worked with the Master, though. I, I can't say his name. If this guy's supposed to be the Master, um, mm. that's one thing. It might even be this is the Master that um, if I Shiva known, was talking yeah. about in the camp, like in the story. Yeah. Where she was like, you know, my master is very impressed with you. Oh. I very much doubt she was talking about well, Rachel Ghoul, but I probably could have sounded his name out better, but his name just flashes on the screen really fast, so Well it's an Asian name. But me and Asian pronunciation is the well, you, you know it's a cool name if it's hard to pronounce. It means your name's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> I just call him the master. Like, my name is so awesome you can't even pronounce it right because it's so amazing. Boom! Okay, let's see if we could just pull this guy down. He jumped too fast! I'm no. screwed. Crap. Ninjas with guns. Not a good combo. Yeah. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> um, anyway, also gamers, uh, I wanted to basically say I'm sorry that there's been no videos. We've been having some monster issues again with the YouTube channels. Um, so hopefully this was able to go We're up We're getting an error that today. no one else is getting, so... Yay! Isn't it fun? Um, but we also are going to see the Nutcracker in Boston on Friday, so we'll be leaving here Thursday. But um, I do plan on getting the long Halloween video up before we leave, because I do have most of it done. <laughs> um, I spent all of vacation pretty much writing it in my free time. So I'm going to have to cut it down because, um, well... The research came to about 40 minutes, so it only takes me about 20 minutes to play a, a you know, episode. So I'm gonna have to find some way of making that work. Your face is using the shadows. Yeah, someone got a little into their research there, Kaywing. 
Oh, and I also went and re-downloaded the, the books, like through the um, com Comixology or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Like that really handy phone app feature. Sure. And becoming a member of the DC Comics thing. So, welcome back to the Bearded you Wonder, episode three. Again. But I would not let beginner's luck cloud your judgment. And lack of Gillette. This test <laughs> is far from over. And we shall truly see if you are one of us. You can just Make call him Master Kirigi. Kirigi? Mm, that's what it says. Curse you and your ability to read correctly. Enunciate. Well, I don't know if it's enunciated perfectly, but eh, it's pretty close. I still like Curious yeah, George. K-Wing, um, for your long Halloween research that took hours upon hours... About six hours. You should have just gone to wiki. Boo. Anyway. No, wiki law. Uh, I'm not going to talk about it now, but wiki, like, they, they don't even have half the cool okay. stuff that was in the book. Alright. Well, anyway. Or the novel. Let us continue being awesome and ninja-like. Yeah, so like anyway, awesome we hope everyone had an awesome Thanksgiving, and we did, but we stayed few extra days and it was it was nice now we have to learn how to get back in the swing of things yeah because we haven't made a video in a few days i mean we were trying to do something when we got back but i had a couple of skylanders episodes i wanted to post on the lp channel but yeah hasn't really excuses happened. excuses no there's, right, there's okay, nothing that can be done <laughs> i know i hate the pajama ninjas they're like so mean Oh. I just realized now, if Bruce actually fought these guys here in the past, then why mm -hmm. did he have such a hard time fighting them in Arkham Origins? The, the oh, red guys. Right. Yeah, I have no idea. So, he traveled the world pretty much all of Asia. Here, Nepal, Japan. Interesting. Yeah, Nepal, India. He learned, I mean, this is basically a new 52 vehicle, so they're doing the whole zero year thing, basically. So, kind of going back to the Bronze Age a little bit, where Batman had, like, all these different teachers, and, well, I mean, people he learned from, not necessarily teachers, but a lot of them were actually criminals. Like, he learned yeah. from a famous Italian guy, slash Jamaican person, to become the type of uh, driver he was, but that guy would kill people while they were trying to get away, uh, use bazookas and stuff, and at the end of um, hmm. Batman's training with the guy, Batman actually uh, purposely almost got caught with the guy so he could like beat the guy up and have him turned in, and he says, you know, you were a great uh, teacher when it comes to the car stuff, but you know, you killed like 32 cops in all these different countries, and you know, he says, that's why you got caught. That's why right. Batman turned him in. Wow. And he had another uh, famous uh, teacher in Egypt who was like this escape artist guy and also was trying to help Batman hone his uh, technology and creation and building skills. And he trapped him inside the Sphinx with like limited oxygen and a few of his gadgets to try to break out. And Batman was stuck there for um, a couple hours with his air running out. So he had to do what he could to survive by combining his different... Uh, gadgets to create something new on the fly that wasn't something that he knew how to do. He was going by his instincts to survive. So he's had lots of really interesting um, stuff in Zero Year, but it's not quite as cool as you know the animated series where he learned uh, so many different things, but he didn't really learn them from criminals. Yeah. And you know Nolan did the whole thing where Batman basically went and became a criminal, stealing his own stuff. You yeah. Know, in Asia cool. and things like that. But I never really... Eh. Yeah, they're both kind of cool, but I did like the sensei that he had in the main series. It was pretty cool. He was actually voiced by a famous uh, Japanese yeah. martial artist. I can't remember his name, though. I liked that episode in the animated series when <laughs> there was that special place... Like, that secret ancient text where it's like, you could touch someone one place and it would kill them. Oh, the death yeah. touch. <laughs> yeah. That was actually, um... That was not something that was just exclusive to the animated series. Uh, th it's a special name for it, but it's not the name that they had in the animated series. Oh, okay. And that is the master's touch in this one. Oh, really? Like, yeah, the master is, like, a very lethal martial artist. But, of course, Brucey... 
doesn't learn that stuff. Yeah. Well, I, actually, no, he did learn it, he just doesn't use it. He could, he just refuses to, and that's kind of impresses the master. Yeah. It's kind of cool. I don't so know. that master is this kind of the same idea as this guy, or no? it is this guy. Oh, okay. I, I just didn't. I couldn't remember if he was North Korean or oh. I know he was Asian, but I you know. Oh. I guess technically you could say it's North Korea because this this place is like right on the border. Oh, of okay. It's kind of another country and and Korea and China and things like that, but yeah. 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 Well, it doesn't really follow. I mean, it might. <laughs> Korea's had so many different things going on in the in pa in the past, you know. So it's like, um, it, you know, the Batman universe might not exactly follow our timeline, how our history is exactly right now. So, well, you know, you could just say it's somewhere in Korea. You got to remember that Korea was a very young country, even like two, three hundred years ago. Especially yeah. that one Korean dramedy where they were. Whoa! Where'd the guy go? <laughs> he like vanished. Ninja vanish! He used his uh his training from that uh Ninpo Yeah. <laughs> the magician guy. Satana's dad. The ninja episode four <laughs> Interesting. Thank you. You spare their lives even though they will not spare yours. There is no room for your self righteous western morality here. It will only get in your way. Sad eyes. Kill him! Nope. <gasps> well, that didn't go according to plan. Do not give the foreigner a chance. <laughs> no, they didn't give the foreigner a chance. But anyway, uh, so much for no retries. Although the magic of editing, you'll never Ready see it. <laughs> uh. You just gave it away, gaming. Yeah. <laughs> oh. What? Whatever happened? I I failed. That that's what happened. No, of course you didn't. What? They're gonna see I failed. It's gonna go from five retries to four. I mean. Oh okay. Mm. All right. Well, this is kind of cool. I do like how they make it look all Korean and stuff. Nice. Little yes, grates. Grates look Korean. No, well, they're wooden and Korean stuff. Korean grates. <laughs> no, I just meant the, the, yeah. bu the buildings and stuff. Looks I don't know. I, I like the traditional buildings. I'm kind of nice. let down by this DLC, though, in all honesty. I mean, it's not like Harley Quinn's Revenge or even Catwoman. I mean, the DLC in this game, other than the skins, is severely lacking. I mean, I, I'm sure that people are going to be able to go through this much faster than I am. Um... But the, the, the only buildings thing, are pretty. Yeah, the, uh, the environments are very Look nice. Look at the candles and the dragons and statues. Yeah, dragons and statues, very, very nice. Makes it all worth it. I'm sold. Mm, no, no, not really. Grab! Continue gaming, I'm sorry. Yeah, you foul bullets. Never interrupt an ADD person in the middle of a thought. Hate you. <laughs> Or in the middle of gunfire. Middle of gunfire, they've got like super guns. <laughs> Sorry. That guy's like pointing up there. I'm just hanging out here so on the dragon. So you're disappointed with the DLC. Yeah, the DLC is kind of lame in this game. I mean, think about it. Batman Arkham a City. Arkham uh, City. Yeah, you whatever. had, um, you know, Catwoman was the playable DLC and she had her own mini story. And on top of being playable in the challenge map. So she had all this extra content. And in Arkham Origins, all you have is like 16 or 17 Batman skins. Hmm. And then they give you this additional character to play only in the challenge maps. But it's essentially still Batman, except Batman Light. You get shurikens and those little cat things that Catwoman dropped that people would step on and Batman go, ow, 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 ow. <laughs> well, he is like Batman Light. Hang on. I'm trying to get over. That didn't work. Come on, game. Work with me. He's going to get up. I'm gonna lose again. This is how I died last time. I'm getting shot. So I don't have my cool body armor. Lame. <laughs> well. Diet Dr. Pepper, Batman. <laughs> the master said that I need to pace myself anyway because he says a true person knows their environments. And last time I just kind of ran in like Batman. Gun, you know. Well, not like yeah. Batman. I, I ran in there like me. Guns a blazing. Thinking I could take on the Korean people, but I have to uh, 
admit, I do like the fact that they actually have female thugs, mm -hmm. which is something I'd really want to see in the next game because it's very I, it's, realistic. it was kind of sexist, the fact that the only time there are girls, there are ninjas. Like, you saw yeah. no thug girls, like, beating up Batman, yet in this, you have thug ninja girls and you have thug girls carrying guns. Yeah. And they, they offer something different to the game. Because so. girls just want to have fun. We want to be thugs and criminals too. Why let guys have all the fun? So unfair. I do like the ability to throw the double shuriken. Alright, so we have to do over the ledge and cow drop. Which are those those little things. But I, I agree. There's, you know. There's girl criminals, there's girl pirates, you know. But he said, but no, really? it, it, I like the fact that they are speaking Korean because, and they have the subtitles because it really does, you know, pull you into this world that Batman is an outsider here. And yeah, like you, know, you can't. Maybe they could do an international game now where Batman travels the world. Um, he did Yay. it in Justice League. Why, why not have a Batman Arkham World game? That would That'd be, be pretty, pretty cool. cool. That'd be awesome. A Batman Incorporated game. There you go. Awesome. But they really need to have Nightwing and Robin playable, like, in free roam, because this is the fourth game coming up. Yeah. Uh, that's probably going to be announced but at Spike TV. Yeah. Like, the, the video game awards that are happening mm -hmm. this year, and Nintendo's yeah. going to be there and stuff for the first time ever. Wow. Um, so, yeah, they, they better have Robin and, and company playable. Rocksteady really needs to step it up, because... Um, WB Games Montreal, they had a chance. Okay, that's not gonna work, so we're gonna have to do beat em ups. Beat -em, beat -em, beat -em, beat -em. Da -da 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 -da. Boom. I love his little outfit, it's so cute. Ooh. Mine? His traditional outfit. Well, no, he, wouldn't, guy. he wouldn't be dressed like a samurai, they didn't have that type of armor there. Well, they they well. had the, the Korean, like, I, I forget what year they created but they weren't around the same time as china i mean they were a part of china back in the day How but their you know their history korea, anyway. this is korea okay so you think that guy's dressed wrong they didn't have samurai or armor in korea not not like that that, okay. that that's from like a different period well, unless maybe. unless the master had that stuff lying around maybe he had it lying around mm. i mean Joker's people wear clown suits. That's not normal attire. They don't, they don't wear clown suits. They have clown masks. <laughs> yeah. They don't. You don't see them going up to Batman. Well, Hi, anyway, Batman. Okay, gonna, all right. I just need to get suit. my thought in before you're done. <laughs> On a positive note, you did say that this DLC, as opposed to the Deathstroke DLC, oh, the, the it, Deathstroke, it has the Deathstroke it has DLC. Yeah, the Deathstroke DLC is some of the lamest DLC I've ever seen in a game. This um, one is this is cool. It has nice cutscenes. I like the cutscenes. I like the added female goons. That that's a nice touch. Mm -hmm. I love the backgrounds. Um, I really think to get players used to the controls, they should have had uh, this at the start of the game. Originally, what they were going to do is they were going to have um, the initiation as like kind of the tutorial for the game. Mm -hmm. But they shied against it because. I believe Lady Shiva's in this, because that kind of mm. looks like her right there. It does look like her. So probably to avoid spoilers and stuff like that, they didn't want to have Shiva like right at the beginning and went with Batman yeah. breaking into Blackgate. Like maybe doing they kind move. of like a, um, what do they call it, flashback. You have learned much since you first arrived, but I wonder if you have learned to overcome your fear, your anger. Your hate. Or do these emotions still cloud your judgment? Let us see. In the trailer for this game, like the really cool CG one that PlayStation did, when they show Batman training with ninjas, he's bald. So when did he have time to grow a all his hair back and a full beard. <laughs> oh, which guy's bald? The his ba master? No. Oh, Batman he is? is. Yeah, oh. they they did that like Weird. CGI trailer for PlayStation with that woman singing. Oh. And Batman's getting punched in the face. I by guess Bane. they decided to give him more uh, hair there. No, I mean it. They they don't understand what continuity is. Yep. So much. I I had another idea though. Maybe mm. that guy was wearing the incorrect costume because maybe. 
Batman is actually right now. He's in this, he's like playing the part in a Korean dramedy. <laughs> and the set people like gave them inaccurate costumes. No. Nah. Nice job. Well, I think their costumes are awesome. And I know well, they I had something like that. Well, yeah, you know, but they the, all were these ninja silly. outfits are different than uh, okay. what we see in the League of Shadows, and so I, I like that because they they look like different ninjas. Yeah, and we didn't have like actual ninja thugs, so I mean these are characters that it would have been cool to see in the actual story or something. Like when when uh, Lady Shiva attacks you with all the different ninjas. Would have been nice to see these guys mm -hmm. in it because these are pretty cool character models. I'm talking about yeah. the guy ninjas. Yeah. The girl ninjas are just from Arkham City, so. Indeed. Kings. And they're not they're not clones of uh, the girl ninjas made bulkier either. Yeah, exactly. And even though I can't stand the martial artists, I really like them. They they really. Um, they're annoying. You love to hate them. Well, no, they they challenge the player. Yep. But from what I've played thus far, the uh, challenge map, like this hack, is pretty intense. Like, if I wasn't somewhat decent at this game, um, this would be really hard. But, you know, Whoa. having all the ninjas here right now is not helping. I didn't even know they could pull their swords out, too. That's pretty cool. Who? The, ninjas? the girls? Everybody. Only the girls can. Oh, okay. The, the guys are using a size, and I thought at one point they were using nunchucks, but they're not. Or nunchucks. Never say it right. I don't care. Yes, how dare you not be able to pronounce I am noticing something that I don't like, though. You're not able to break weapons as uh. the ninja. And to me, that just seems dumb. Um, you're going back to the whole Nightwing thing where... Nightwing and Robin, they couldn't break weapons either. Those are cool little shields they have, too. Oh, the bamboo shields? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a nice They're touch. Awesome. The development team did a really great job with this level, and I I just like it. It's cool. I wish they had more to it. In, in terms of, I mean, they want $6.99 for this DLC, and honestly, I don't know if it's worth it. Because, I mean, if you don't have the season pass already, this game... This thing is included in the season pass for 19.99. You get all the skins, you get the initiation DLC, and uh, the Slade thing, and things like that. So, I mean, if you're going by season pass, it's totally worth it. If you're trying to buy this by itself, um, like I said, you're probably going to see speedruns on the internet, like, doing this whole thing in under 15 minutes. I won't be able to do a speedrun of this, so this is my first time through, and it's, uh pretty bad <laughs> but um, <laughs> I still managed to get all the medals so yeah that's definitely gonna do it I think I Yay. hope it says I got all the medals so when it, awesome be it says continue crap oh, never mind round two round two fight it's the challenge map that never ends yeah I I just hope that uh, Warner Brothers Montreal if they do another, I could see another cool DLC story um, campaign thing because that's actually a really great idea to do that because it adds more to the story. They should have done that with the Black Mask Challenge pack that they had in this. They should have done it with the Nightfall pack that's on the PS3 because it would have been cool to have like more CGI stuff. Um, but they didn't. All you have is like these little text stories and it's just, I don't know. If you're not familiar with the comics, then the Nightfall stuff isn't going to make any sense to you. But you could always watch our Nightfall video and uh, learn learn some stuff. Some Nightfall stuff. Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm probably going to do later some lore on the Bruce Wayne training years. Uh, right now, this is kind of more an impressions and, you know, my first time playing it. <laughs> yeah. I love that zipline thing. I wish you could grab one of those swords that's over there. They're just oh, grab stuff there. off the ground? Yeah, that'd be awesome. We'll see they're, like, right there all lined yeah. up. Yeah, that would be cool. Oh, yep, right. there's Shiva. Crap. <gasps> Lady Shiva? No. Well, yeah, she hangs out with, with this group, so... Oops. This is gonna be bad. Oh, she doesn't have the spider sense thingy above her head. I'm screwed. 
Okay. I mean, oh. if I was playing New Game Plus, that's one thing, but this is oh yeah, this is on normal. They usually do that little spider thing before she's gonna spider sense tingling. Yeah, we call it that because Please. that's what it was in Lego. Spider. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> Spider Man. Like so, that. it's it's kind of like I mean, this is more challenging boss fight than her actual side mission in the game. So, I mean, this is the only cool part, other than the CGI, that I've liked of this uh, DLC so far. What? You like some things. You well, like the I, environment. I really like this costume. Uh, Vigilante Batman is I like is the environment. Cool. Everything is so much prettier in Asia. It makes me want to move there. Whee! Despite the... Except for I don't want to be beat up by ninjas, but... Yeah, that that would put I a would uh, like rain on your parade. See all the pretty buildings and stuff. Man, this is tough. Whoops. Broke my combo. Uh, note to self, cannot use zip line on ninjas. Ouch. Don't get me. Unless you're gonna get me like a sandwich. It's too bad that um, Bruce doesn't have some backup uh, trank guns. Like Chuck. He, <laughs> it would yeah, help trank him. guns would, would help work. him in the latest situations with people like Lady well, Shiva. Well, a gun isn't really a code and... Yeah, I, you're right. He's I can't trying remember to be that. Honorable. that. What was that line that Robin did when he was talking about Kyoto Ken? Well, that uh, that gun of his isn't exactly a court and a. I don't remember. But if I you guys remember know. the quote, finish it in the comments below. Uh, one of my favorite parts of that episode is Robin kicking Kyoto Ken in the face, though, because he's like, "This isn't the movie, boy," and then he like kicked to the face. It's like sweet. Okay. My dad really loves that too. Like, that always made him laugh because it was like you have the sidekick beating up this oh, awesome yeah, ninja. Oh yeah, exactly. Because Robin can hold his own. Well, the only reason that he was able to um, go up against the ninja is that the ninja hasn't faced him yet. So oh, okay. you you he don't really know you don't know your opponent's total moves. moves. So Robin is going to get some good hits in. Um, whereas Batman, you know, he faced Kyodai Ken numerous times. But to be fair. Um, you know, Robin hasn't faced him either, so yeah. they were unequal. They were on equal ground. Uh, yep, and Robin. <laughs> but uh, the Japanese master was not the final master to train Bruce Wayne during that animated series, so that's why he was able to beat Kodai, Kyodai Ken eventually. Mm -hmm. um, because, you know, that was just one of his many stops. Yep. And I, I really would like to see, like, a series or... Maybe some type of movie where they just like really go more in depth into Batman's training years. Is Good that job. it? Wow. Whoa. Well, other than that one fail, um, four retries, gadget integration. Eh, I just barely, barely made three medals. But anyway, gamers. But you made it. There we go. Campaign mastered DLC. Uh, like I said, if you have season pass, whoops. And I am really impressed. <gasps> you have earned our respect and proven yourself worthy. You will be given the instruction you seek. Now get to the kitchen and prepare <laughs> tea for all of us. There is much to discuss. To the kitchen with you, <laughs> bearded man. Make me tea. And a sandwich. Yes, we were gonna send Lady Shiva, but uh, you beat her. You, so. Yeah, you've, you're now kitchen. <laughs> you've got kitchen duty. Anyway, gamers, uh, that, that's gonna conclude. Uh, that that really made me laugh. That's gonna conclude this episode. Uh, join us next time for the long Halloween lore and DLC. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch. We hope you had fun. Don't forget to like this video to help it get seen in the search engine, and like, comment, and subscribe if you're new to our stuff. Uh, God bless. Happy gaming. Check you out later, people. Bye. See ya. Well, that's the end of this video. Who's up for Chinese? Seriously, though, make sure to like, favorite, and share this delicious video. Unless, of course, you like being wrapped in plastic and left in the gutter. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, a force of habit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>